want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you our daily proverb. Tonight we will be in Proverbs 4. And as we always do, we pray that the Holy Spirit will come down from east to west to north to south to be the true teacher. As we go through this in a speedy fashion, just to give you a glimmer or a nugget of His glory as we go. Hear, my children, the instructions of the Father, the instructions of the Most High God, that is the true wisdom. And give attention to no understanding, the understanding that can only come through the Word of God and the understanding of one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, not the understanding and the wisdom of the world. For I give you good doctrine. There is one doctrine. This is the Word of God. There is no other doctrine, no, other non, no denominational doctrine, no man-made doctrine. It is written and God-breathed for our edification. As Paul tells us in 2 Timothy 3.16, all Scripture, not the Scripture you like, all Scriptures God breathed for our edification, our doctrine. Do not forsake my law. As Jesus says, I am coming to complete the law, uh, uh, fulfill the law and the uh, prophets to the yacht and tittle. When I was my father's son, tender and only one in the sight of my mother. From the beginning, God is telling us, raise your children in the name and the way of the Lord. It was always a requirement to teach your children the ways of the Lord, the precepts of, of, the, of the law, the precepts of the, pro, the prophets, and here in the New Testament, the, the glory of, the, of our risen Christ. He also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words. Let your heart, not your mind. Intellect of the world wants to retain the words in their mind, but the wisdom comes to retain it in the heart, to put the tablet on our heart. Keep my commandments and live. It's not keep my commandments and I'll shoot you and you die. He's talking keep the commandments so it will go well with you because I will give you life. And that life is through my son, eternal life. Get wisdom and get understanding, the wisdom of God, not the wisdom of the world. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forget or turn away from the words of my mouth. This is God saying this is the way, the truth, and the life. And do not add to or take away of my words. It is my word. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. It's a covenant. Love my word, love my words, love my law and she will preserve you. Preserve means forever, eternal. And she will keep you in her bosom forever, meaning God most high. Wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. Not the wisdom of the world, but wisdom that can only come through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, get wisdom in, in all you're getting and get understanding. Understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Again, the nine gifts of the uh, part of the nine gifts of the, the gifts of the Spirit. And it's the understanding of the wisdom of God that the world is confounded. They can't understand it, but God gives it through the Holy Spirit so we understand what is truth and why are we here and what is the purpose to do His will in our lives. Exalt her, exalt His word, and she will promote you promote into the eternal gates of heaven. And she'll bring you honor when you embrace her. The honor, of, only honor we get is the honor of the Lord when we come home to be with the Lord on the beam of seat. And he says, well done, my faithful servant, come in. That's what, we, that's what we do it for. She will place on head an ornament of grace. It's only by grace, not by our works. The ornament, the crown, the five crowns that we do for his purpose on our life will be of grace. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. The crown of his glory, doing it for his purpose. Hear my son and receive my sayings. Receive my word. That's what he's telling us. Know my word. And the years of your life will be many. Not just on the earthly life, but forever. Be with me. Know my words. Let them meditate on your heart. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have taught you, meaning the most high God have taught you through my living word. And I will lead you in the right path. He is the right path. As, high, as uh, Isaiah always tells us, the highway theme. There's one way, the highway. The first church was called the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He will lead us on the right path. As David says, he makes my feet as a deer, so I stay on the path. God is going to give us the path. But this is our compass to know what the way is on the path. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. I have you protected. I have my shield of protection around you if you're walking in my way. And you will run, but you will not stumble. You will not stumble because you are walking and keeping your eyes on me. As Peter walked on water, when he looked at the Lord, when he turned down, that's when he sunk. God is telling us the same thing. We keep our eyes and our heart on him. 
He will show us the way, even walking on water. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. That is eternal life, the instruction of knowing who I am. Do not enter the path of the wicked. Separate yourself from the evil of the world. And do not walk in the way of the evil. You'll be a part of the world, but set apart. You're in the world, but not of the world. You're set apart from my perfect glory. And stay away from the wickedness of the world. Because who you hang around with, as we tell our kids, is who you become. And you want to be around those who are of God. Avoid it and do not travel on it. Do not go down that path. Do not be tempted, as in the Lord's Prayer. Deliver me from temptation, Lord. And do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it and do not travel on it. Turn away and pass on. Move on. Don't look. Don't see that. Move on. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. The evil is trying to take down the house. Remember, Jesus said, Satan's, if Satan's house is against this house, it shall fall. We see in Psalm 83, they come against each other. Confusion, God steps in. That's the war that's imminent. We see in Ezekiel 38 and 39, first time in history, that war event is on the, on the doorstep after Psalm 83. In the middle of it, confusion, the house falls. Wicked causes confusion and the house falls. Do not let it fall. Stay away from it. Be on my precepts and commandments. For they eat the bread of the wickedness. And drink the wine of violence. There are the wickedness and the violence. Isn't that happening in the United States and the world today? Not walking the path of the righteous and the Lord. The, 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 the scales of justice are unrighteous. But the path of the just is like the shining sun. The light will shine down as he's light, shining the light on the corruption. As he's exposing it before our very eyes. That shines even brighter into the perfect day. He is the light. Jesus comes back as the morning light, the morning sun. The way of the wicked is like the darkness. Light is shining on the dark as we speak. They do the things in the dark. They do it at night. They do it in hiding. They do it in secret. Now that darkness is being exposed by the light of God. They do not, they do not know what makes them stumble. And now he's making them stumble as this house of cards is going down. My son, give attention to my words. This is what he's telling us. Give attention to all your attention to my words, the words in this book, precept upon precept. Incline your ear to hear my sayings. He's even saying, listen to it. We have technology today that you can put on your earphones and listen to the Bible, listen to Proverbs, listen to the Psalms, and just meditate on it when you're tired. So many people say, well, I'm too tired to read the Bible. Meditate on it. He's saying, listen to it. Use your ear to hear. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Know my word. Be in tune to my word. Keep them in the midst of your heart because this is the Holy of Holies where I meet you. It's all about a love relationship. For they are life to those who find them. They are eternal life for those who find these words in your heart. And health to all their flesh. It is our only health. He is the healer that will give us eternal health of being with him forever in a glorified body. Keep your heart with all diligence for out of the spring issues of life. The heart will build the life is a condition of our heart, loving the Lord Jesus Christ with our heart, our soul, and our mind. That will be our, our, our eternal life. Put away your deceitful mouth. Remember when Jesus said, that's not what goes in the mouth that is dirt, that is unclean? It was what comes out of the mouth that's unclean. Put away from you a deceitful mouth, but perverse lips far from you. Listen to the vileness going on and the lies and, the, and all the stuff that comes out from politicians and People trying to br dr bring down innocent people for their purpose and their, and, and their darkness. Uh, God is going to expose it. He's going to expose it. He's going to expose it. Let your eyes look straight ahead and keep your eye on the Lord. As Peter kept his eye on the Lord until he looked down. And your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet. Where are my feet going to go? Are they going to go in the straight way of the Lord? Follow the way and let your, all your ways be established. They're established by me from the beginning of the earth. I've established a path for you, son and daughter. All I'm asking you to do is follow this compass of your life, my word, so that you stay on that path and know me in the heart and walk with me for eternal life. And we close out in verse 27 of our daily proverb, of Proverbs 4. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from the evil. He said, don't turn your left to the right. Stay in the word of God. Don't listen to man-made doctrine. Don't listen to this, that, 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 that some man changed the word of God, or this is not applicable today. Listen to the word of the Lord. Don't turn to the left. Don't turn to the right. He says, 
understand my word. Remove your foot from the evil. Don't go down the path of the evil because that's part of the sword of the word of God. The two offensive weapons that Paul tells about in Ephesians, the sword, which is the word of God. We need to be in this on our heart every day so that we don't turn to the right or turn to the left. We rely on the word of God, not man. And two, it keeps us up comfort. It keeps us, uh, it, it, the second part of it is uh, praying in the spirit. And that is the artillery fire to the uh, enemy, keeping the comforter in us and keeping us uh, uh, with prophecy built up and strength so that we'll remove ourselves from going into the temptations of life. We pray that Proverbs 4, our daily proverb, has been a blessing to you. And may the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you today and always. God bless you.